Hey Virgo, it's your girl D here with the 8th house energy. Here to bring you your September 2020 read. This is going to be the last one for September. We're wrapping it up. Hope you guys enjoyed Virgo season. We just jumped into fresh into Libra season. I do want to thank you guys for the love and support you show to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell because I post weekly. And if this reading resonates, make sure you hit the like button. What's going on, Virgalicious? I hope all is well with you guys. Let's see what we got going on for you. This is going to be about love, okay? All right, we got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. We have the Nine of Coins. We have the um, Three of Swords. Okay, the King of Wands came out. The moon came out in reverse. And and the two of wands. I'm sorry, the two of pentacles. Two of pentacles. All right. So the overall energy for the reading is going to be the uh, page of coins or page of pentacles in reverse. Here's the card upright. Page of coin. Page of coins in reverse. Um, this could talk to... Uh, Pages to me represent uh, messages, okay? Messages of a, a connection. Pentacles could mean so many different things, though. Um, pentacles could mean money. Pentacles could mean a um, time, energy, and effort, physical time, energy, and effort, because it's all about what's in the 3D realm. Physical time, energy, and effort into a situation. Um, it could represent, the page of coin in reverse could represent a troubled child as well. Or someone who just um, causes a lot of trouble. Um, they're not someone that you can who's going to easily cooperate. Okay, so maybe this is the thought process. Um, but we're going to see as we clarify these cards here. So the first set of cards we have is the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse, which is um, Libra energy, and we also have the King of Wands. Where is the Jupiter? Jupiter is in what sign right now? Let me see something real quick so that I know what I'm speaking upon. Hmm. Jupiter. Jupiter just went direct. I do know that. And it went direct. Okay, in Capricorn. So it's going to um be in, Jupiter is going to be in Capricorn until December 19th. Uh, when it goes into Aquarius. So Jupiter is all about um, expansion, growth, good luck, good fortune, fame, all the good luck and good things in your life. In a woman's chart in Vedic astrology, it's the uh, character, whatever your Jupiter is in, that's the ideal characteristics for uh, the ideal mate for you. Okay. So my Jupiter is in Sag. So the ideal mate for me would be someone who exhibits uh, characteristics, characteristics of Sag. Um, but I digress. This um, Wheel of Fortune in reverse here. This is telling me that um, either something came back around um, and was not in your favor or um, something is going to come back around again. But we have the King of Wands here. With the King of Wands here, this is someone taking action here. Um, so I feel like something didn't go in your favor in reference to uh, finances or a uh, relationship because this is about love we're talking about. So a connection it didn't go anywhere. Or you guys are no longer friends. This is a situation where maybe you wanted to take your time to get to know someone and you're no longer doing that. Um, maybe because the opportunity didn't present itself and you're trying to come up with a creative way to do so. Or maybe you two fell out on bad terms uh, with the page of coin reverse here. And um, you're hoping for the opportunity to uh, take action to uh, correct that. We have the Knight of Coins energy here. A lot of coin here. And we have the Moon in reverse. Major Arcana here. Uh, this is, uh, to me, it's all of the water signs. Uh, intuitive energy. Uh, but specifically Cancer. So with the Knight of Coins here. And the Moon in reverse. I feel like there could be some jealousy. Mixed emotions about things. Somebody may want a stable um, connection, but they're not 
sure about how to go about it or if that's really what they want with this person with the page of coin in reverse. Okay, like I said, mixed emotions here. Um, I did say jealousy initially. That could be that. But for a lot of you, I just feel like you're not sure what to do or your person's not sure what to do. They're not sure how to go about um, or you're not sure about how, how to go about offering uh, stability because the kings are about taking action. The king of coin. So he's going to take action in, as far as strategy. Um, they're great at strategizing the king of, of coins energy. They strategize for long-term growth, long-term success. They don't rush into things. They take their time thinking about things. So this person may be trying to figure out what they want to do in reference to reaching out to you. You two could um, be on bad terms right now or just not speaking. But I feel like um, maybe you want to reach out or this person wants to reach out to you. And that could be also with this. These two could be related, you know, with the wheel of fortune in reverse here. This could be someone that you have a cycle with where, you know, you two run into each other and then you don't. You run into each other and you, or you have a falling out. So I feel like you had a falling out and you're trying to get creative as to how you can reconnect with this person. You're trying to put a plan in place or figure out what it is that you can do. Uh, for some of you, this person is not going to connect with you because you're still legally married is what I'm feeling for some of you. OK, um, and that could be why you're trying to figure out what's going on here. Mixed feelings, mixed emotions could be involved with someone else, but have feelings for someone else doesn't necessarily mean you're married. You could be or you could be in a long term relationship with someone or that could be the person that you're with. OK. Yeah. And there's mixed emotions here about uh, someone else. Cause speaking of someone else, we got the two of pentacles here and the three of swords. Here's the three of swords. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is definitely about a connection. At one time, there was a connection with people, uh, two people. And um, it's severed is what I'm feeling, or it was too difficult to keep it going. Um, you were at a stage where you were getting to know one another. I feel like there wasn't too much time or effort in this situation. Um You may have had, like, for example, you could have um, exchanged phone numbers with this person. Maybe you guys didn't get to go out on the date yet, okay? Maybe you, um, you know, talked on the phone a few times or maybe you were intimate one or two times, but it didn't get off the ground, okay? For some of you, it didn't get off the ground before it got cut off. Um, and for some of you, it's because, you know, you were involved or otherwise uh, married, <laughs> engaged or involved with someone else all right so this person is like no nah, we're not going to keep doing this um for and this is what this three of swords is talking about and so someone is trying to do both someone i feel like is trying to have both to have their cake and eat it too and this person is like nah i don't think that's going down with this page of pentacles energy in reverse no nah, we're not going to do that well i'm not you can do what you like but i'm not going to do that so that's what i'm feeling here let's take a look at these other cards and see what else we get so yeah, the page of coin reverse. We got the knight of cups. Somebody wants to come in and apologize. Like I said, some of you are not speaking to this person or you're no longer in contact with them. With the ten of swords reverse, someone wants to let it go. Um, the eight of cups, they want to come back. Okay. And with the queen of wands here, they may be afraid. Queen of wands in reverse. Um, they may be afraid to uh, come back to you. Because here's the king and the queen of wands. Right here. All right. But the uh, queen is in reverse. So your emotions, the queens represent your emotions and feelings. So your emotions and feelings is to act right now. Okay? Because the queen of wands in reverse can represent acting right now. Doesn't have patience. Want what they want right now. Okay? So that's what I'm feeling here. Um, with the justice and the three of coin reverse, I feel like this person, for some of you, like I said, you're married or your person is married. And this is why, part of the reason why you're not dealing with this person but we have the magician energy and the two of wands reverse here so somebody could be um considering um communicating and with the two of wands in reverse i feel like um i feel like it, it would be pointless to communicate especially if you're in a situation where you're with someone or in a long-term commitment this person is not going to communicate with you is what i'm feeling from here um and I feel like for some of you, they're not going to communicate because you're in a marriage. Some of you are in a marriage that you're not happy in. 
with the Eight of Swords reverse, you're acting as if you can't get out of it. You don't know how to get out of it. You don't know what to do to resolve the issue, but you very well do. And that would be about you standing up and taking control with the Emperor energy. And this could also represent filing divorce, filing paperwork, and then isolating away from that person with the Hermit energy. Um, but a lot of you are in denial or that person is in denial with the Queen of Swords reverse. They're in denial about taking action here um, and offering their love with the King of Cups energy here. So they don't, you know, they know what to do to get out of the situation, but I feel like they're trying to figure out how they can have you both. <laughs> but um, with the Three of Swords here, like, you're like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. You know, we're not we're not doing this three this third party situation here. That's how some of you feel. All right. So let's see. Let's see what else we got. Oh, you know what? There's going to be an extended. I'm going to go into the extended for this next spread. I'm going to talk about it, but we'll go into the extended and break it down. So the link is in the box below. If you're a Patreon member, you know how it works. Um, come on over and check it out. If you want to um, do so, you can. Feel free. The link's in the box below. I think I said that like already, right? <laughs> All right. So one more card. Thank you. Okay. Overall energy for this spread. Oh, the two of coins wanted to come out again. Okay. Emphasis on that. Because that's the challenge in the situation. Mm. So, underneath the deck, we got the four swords in reverse. So, somebody is anxious. They can't sleep. This situation is on their mind. Okay. Um, they can't rest with this. This is something that won't allow them to be. To just, you know... They can't let it go. So we have the Hierophant in reverse energy, Major Arcana here, uh, Aries energy. No, this is Taurus, my bad. Taurus energy. We have the Two of Coin, which is Capricorn energy. So we got a lot of Earth energy here. We also have the Justice energy here, Major Arcana Libra energy. All right, Libra season. We have the Knight of Swords energy here. This is Gemini. And we have the Four of Wands, which is Aries. Okay. So I feel like this is going down. Whatever this is, is going down in Libra season. Okay. Um, I feel that strongly here. And I feel like with the Hierophant in reverse, this talks about coming out of um, a traditional connection. Someone's in a connection. They're torn. I feel like someone's torn between two people. Um, with the two of coin here, but the two of coin also talks about trying to maintain, trying to expand upon, okay, because that's uh, Jupiter, I'm sorry, that's, uh, what is that in Capricorn, is it a Jupiter in Capricorn, the two of, uh, yeah, it is, it's Jupiter in Capricorn, so Jupiter is all about expansion and growth, remember we had the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, so this person is trying to turn a situation in their favor, um, that's the challenge in this situation. They're not sure how to do it. They're not sure how to expand. Maybe they need money and they're trying to grow money so that they can file for a divorce. Because the Hierophant in reverse is telling me that there is, um, there's either control issues going on. No, excuse me. The Hierophant in reverse talks to me about, um, this could be court because we got justice here too. Somebody could be ending a connection, ending a marriage. Um, the Hierophant in reverse is usually about, you know, it's about holding up traditions and uh, standards, uh, institutions that have been around for a long time, whether that institution is a uh, brick and mortar building or whether that institution is a thought or idea about something. Okay. I feel like that institution is coming down and it's coming down in Libra season or the preliminary process of it is going to be starting this season with the justice energy because this is what your spirit guides, guardian angels, and ancestors are telling you that this is a karmic situation um, and that there's some there's going to be some energy uh, in reference to it Libra season, okay? Because the Hierophant is ruled by Venus and so is justice. 
All right. So Venus is heavily influencing this uh, energy here. So Venus in Taurus, Venus in Libra. Okay. Venus in Cap. Oops. Venus in Taurus, Venus in Libra, Venus in Capricorn, Venus in Aries, Venus in Gemini. Okay. Um, but definitely Venus in Aries or I'm sorry, definitely Venus in Libra or Venus in uh, Taurus. Okay. Now. Yeah, the challenge is, is trying to get money. Okay, because I think things are going to, you know, well, not I think. I know this is going to cost you some money. All right. So where your head is at is the Knight of Swords here. So this could be about filing paperwork. All right. Knights are about journeys and you could be on the journey uh, to file paperwork. Okay. Or, um, but this is some type of communication. Okay. Maybe you want to reach out to the person that um, you no longer are seeing. Okay, but with the four of wands here as the outcome here, I feel like you want to have a stable connection with that person or this is about the a connection that you're in, a marriage that you're in. I'm getting strong marriage energy here with the Hierophant, Justice, and the four of wands. And then we got the um, Knight of Swords here. I'm getting paperwork. So, yeah, this is what I'm feeling here. I'm feeling as if someone might be um, looking to get their money together so they can file for uh, legal separation or divorce. Or it could be um, someone trying to collect paternity. Uh, not paternity. Someone trying to collect alimony or child support as well is what I'm getting here. Um, this could be about business, but this is primarily a love reading so I feel like somebody is separating or divorcing and they're getting that paperwork situated and together. And um, the outcome, though, is the four of wands. So I think someone's going from one connection to another. And that's interesting. So if you are indeed um, or have prominent placements of Taurus, please check out the Taurus video that I did a little while ago. If you have prominent placements of Gemini and this resonates with you, check out the reading, the, uh, reading for Gemini as well. All right. So the three cards, the five cards I have here is the four of swords. I feel like someone's antsy and ready to act. Okay. We have the eight of coin here. This is somebody who's focused on this situation. They could be focused on making money, but they can't stop thinking about the situation. Uh, the two of wands to me represents the fact that the situation ended uh, between two people and uh, it's not moving forward with the five of wands in reverse here. Someone no longer wants to fight. They're no longer putting up a fight. They're no longer in their head questioning themselves about this or they're no longer worrying about what external factors have to say about their situation. And with the nine of coin here, I feel like somebody just wants to be single. Okay. So I feel like this person is coming out of this connection because they're not in love, but I don't feel like they're ready to jump into anything serious after they come out. They do want to enjoy the fruit of being single and that's normal. So if you Virgo are dealing with someone who just came out of um, a relationship, long-term uh, relationship or marriage, just know that this person, they may enjoy you and they may like you, but they're not ready to jump into anything serious yet. And if you know Virgo, you know you can't rush Virgo, okay? Virgo takes their time. That's the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo. So you cannot rush this person. You need to just be their friend and just build a rapport and a relationship with them and show them consistency. And at that point, maybe they'll, you know, maybe they'll let, the, they'll let you... uh <laughs> they'll let you rub their calf maybe <laughs> all right because that's what i'm getting here with this energy yeah this person definitely wants to be single especially with the nine of coin virgo energy all day okay wanting to be single wanting to let go of the stress the aggravation and the frustration of a relationship that's currently not going anywhere okay whether this is a marriage or a long-term situation you're just ready to let go so a lot of you are ready, whether you have someone else or not. But I feel some of you do have someone that you're interested in. I do feel that this relationship, even if you end it, it's still going to continue with the world in reverse. Because a lot of you have children with this person. So you can't t you can wrap up the cycle as far as the intimacy with them. But your cycle of communication with them will still exist because you do have a mutual uh, connection, which is your children. Okay. Um, with the Sun card in reverse here and the Ace of Wands in reverse and Judgment in reverse. 
Okay, let's see what these are about. So with the sun in reverse here, is this not being able to see things clearly because you're thinking with your with your wand <laughs> and you made the wrong decisions? Yeah, I feel like for some of you, that's what happened. You got into this entanglement, okay, because you were basically just trying to satisfy some of your sexual desires here. You made a wrong decision. And for some of you, this is what happened as far as your marriage is concerned. This was just a one night stand that, you know, got expanded and turned into a relationship, which turned into marriage. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm feeling here. And it's a strong sexual connection with this person, which is why it's very difficult for you to walk away is what I'm getting here. Um, but I feel like you're doing that. I feel like you're definitely doing that. Um, with the high priestess energy here, I feel as if you're isolating yourself from this situation and with the two of swords reversed, that's because you're going to do what's best for you. You're not happy in this situation with the four of cups and with the knight of coin reverse, you're not going to move forward with this anymore. You're not doing it. You're going to reach out to the person that you want to reach out to with the page of coin, but you're really not sure how this person's going to receive you with the seven of cups. Um, I feel like you're going to let them know that um, you know you want to communicate with them you want to let them know what's going on but I feel like with this eight of swords here you're refusing to do so or you're refusing to take action to cut this situation off because a lot of you are still in that player mode I feel like what it is is you want to be single you want to date this person but you don't want to jump into a relationship with them some of you are in a relationship right now or a long-term marriage or commitment and you're coming out of that you have someone that you can connect with, but you don't want to rush into anything yet with this person. It's just like, I feel like you don't know how to tell them that. You don't know how to say to them, look, I'm single, I'm, you know, I'm no longer married, but I want to, you know, I want to date. I want to be single. I don't want to jump into anything serious. I feel like that's a concern for a lot of you. Yeah, but I feel like the major stress in reference to the current situation that you're in with the Nine of Swords reversed you're that, and the Ten of Wands reversed, you're definitely letting this go. Definitely letting it go. Um, and with the Chariot in reverse here, you know the situation is not going to go any further. For some of you, you, you have transportation issues. Um, could be some car situation thing going on here. Um, in reference to you reaching out to the other person or trying to get in contact with the other person. Or maybe you're the only one who has transportation. Um, so with the magician in reverse and the king of coin, I feel like somebody is, um, you know, basically out for whatever they can get in reference to money. So this is now, take okay, yeah, because we got the queen of coin in reverse right after that and the four of coins. So yeah, this is definitely, um, as far as the... Um, connection that this person is in they're in a connection that has to do with money this is all about money now there's no more love left this is just down and out now that they're filing divorce or they're separating it's just getting grimy and it's just all about that dollar okay um is what i'm seeing and somebody wants this over really quickly okay uh with the ace of swords they want a decision okay and with the lovers here they they know that they want to choose um, one person over the other and with the three of cups reverse here this person is not speaking to them so yeah this is interesting so what we're going to do virgos we're going to go to the extended we're going to break all this down if this is resonating with you thus far feel free to click the like button if you're here for the first time welcome if it resonated please subscribe and please hit the notification bell all right i post weekly for you guys so i would love for you to be um you know caught be uh in a position where you're going to get the uh the newest you'll get notification of the newest uh postings for all areas in your chart right so yeah what's this four wands though as the outcome here this is what i want to know what's this all about you're going from the hierophant in reverse to the to the four wands so like i said for some of you you do want to be with that person you see that person as your long-term partner but I don't feel like you want to jump in right away, especially if you are the Virgo who's leaving a situation. Uh, what is this for wands? Is this someone living with you? Something about the house, perhaps? We're going to clarify and extend it because, like I said, I feel like paperwork is being filed here. This is what I'm feeling. So the extended link is going to be in the box below, Virgo. Feel free to join. Um, or if you're cross-watching for Virgo, hey, everybody's welcome. It's a free forum here. Um, check out the uh, extended. The link's in the box below. If I don't see you in the extended, I'll see you in the next reading.
Peace out, Virgo.